This video reviews the tear film surface quality assessment that you can do with the Medmont E300 corneal topographer. The tear film surface quality or TFSQ analysis allows us to appreciate a patient's relative dry eye. On the capture window, select that you want to do a video capture. Those images taken over time can be viewed to understand the tear film quality from one instance to the next. In this case, we can see a video capture has been taken by this yellow or orange line below the topography. This indicates a video capture, whereas this topography icon without the yellow or orange line indicates a singular topography image. Let's go to the video and go up to display, then change from axial to tear film quality analysis. Areas of dark blue are where the tear film is very smooth and even. Areas of hotter colors are areas where the tear film is drying up, where there's distortion in the placido doing, due to unsmooth tear film. If we go to video and play as a continuous loop, we can monitor how the tear film changes over the duration of our video. Wherever we see that dark blue area, we know that we're dealing with smooth tear film. Areas where we see hot colors, red, yellow, orange, this is areas where the tear film may be drying up. If we switch to looking at individual images, we could open up this video file and click on each individual topography, then go down to data and look at the TFSQ value. This gives us more of a quantitative appreciation of the relative dry eye condition. This particular image isn't populating with the TFSQ value, indicating that we must have captured this image immediately following the blink. If we go to the next image, we see a TFSQ value of 0.261. This value, the TFSQ value, is looking at the global or the broad area of capture that we've taken on this particular image. The TFSQ central is focused more so on the pupillary zone. You can also add to your attribute window the inferior, superior, nasal, and temporal if you desire. Values over 0.1 would be considered the threshold of abnormal or dry uh, tear film. Any value greater than 0.1 again indicates dry eye. Any value under 0.1 would indicate an eye that should be healthy and free of dry eye symptoms. You can click on each of these individual captures to assess the global TFSQ or the central TFSQ. We could compare images over time to see if our meibomian gland treatment is making a difference for this patient. For instance, we could take two images at separate visits to the office, go up to view and select compare and use the comparison map to look at changes that we've created between this visit and this visit. So the TFSQ value offers a way that we can understand the tear film in a very quantitative assessment. Also using the video gives us a more qualitative understanding of the patient's relative dry eye.